the summer like? You went through spring now, now summer. Any different than last year as a true freshman? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. Uh, just a year, being able to prepare, being able to increase weight, get more uh, camaraderie with my teammates, do different team bonding uh, things. Um, we've been going at it a little bit more than we have, just more on the football side, trying to get the mental aspect of the game, watching more film together as units, going over small details, so that when fall camp comes around, we'll be pretty sharp. Are you comfortable with the new defensive scheme, or do you still study that night and day? Uh, you can never be too comfortable with anything, so you always just put the work in so that you can be best prepared, but I feel pretty, feel pretty good, like I'm in a good spot. What's the biggest difference from the previous defense? Um, communication and just like what, what you call things. Like everything's pretty much the same. It's just the terminology of it, really. Everybody has their own way of doing things, but defense is defense. A lot different for the will, though. I mean, do you have different run fits, different coverages? Uh, the run fits are the same. The will, the will backer is like a mix of our bandit safety okay. and our will, a traditional will backer. So you kind of out of the box more in there, but it's still pretty much a backer. This this defense is going to look different when you guys get into camp, even than it was in the springtime, obviously, because a couple guys leaving. Yeah. Just where where do you think the guys uh, at safety are going to be at? And just, I guess are you eager to see what where you guys are at as a defense? Uh, we, we we've been doing things as far as like just trying to get people ready to play, making sure that people are ready to step up. We've um, had some adjustments. Uh, everybody's kind of taking a bigger role to try to help people out who haven't uh, necessarily played yet. So uh, I feel like everything's going to be good. As far as the leadership void, who are maybe some guys you're seeing step up? Um, Josh Norwood has uh, taken charge in the safety room. Sean Mahone, Jake Long, um, freshman Kerry Martin has been doing all right too. So it's pretty good back there. How impressive was that for a freshman too? That's pretty good. He was able to come in mid-year, the same thing I did. So it really did help him a lot. He's starting to get his confidence up more. So you're starting to see the better sides of him. How much does that help coming in at the mid-year, getting that little bit of head start before you get into the summer program, having been through it and yeah. seeing what Kerry's doing now? Yeah, it, it actually it helps a lot. Like it, it's it's actually better being able to take a step back and see how someone else progresses through it. But like you see big leaps. Like you might not notice yourself because you're taking it day by day. You're not seeing how much you're growing, but being able to take back, take a step back and see how he's been progressing is pretty good. So it was worth missing prom or whatever he might have. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it still really matter. How do the players handle when teammates leave? Um, it's kind of a see, like it's never, it's never a personal thing. We have our own separate relationships outside of how they felt about different things. So it's never like, oh, I'm not, this, I'm not friends with him no more just because he left. So, I mean, we communicate with the guys. They've made decisions for their own life that they're just going to take forward. It's not really that big of a deal, really. But how do you separate the two? It's kind of already separated. Like, you have your football life and then you got your locker room life. Like, everybody is cool outside of here. So it's like, just because you leave, you're not a different person. You just made a different decision than other people have.